Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy, what with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Listen. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you cravens, son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Mace. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. 
this house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks She's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. No. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He can send him to the war. Give us justice. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. A thief. Kill him! The price for your crime. It's three of your fingers. No! Please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! My lord, normally it is the lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out, if you do not feel ready. I will carry out the sentence. This is injustice, my lord! That was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. But, Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord.
Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? You may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? No, I'm not ready just yet. Let me know when you are, my lord. Slash and parry! Slash! Get that sword out! Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my Lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage, and I regret any action you disapprove of. That's a clever strategy. I do hope that's a good thing, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements. My lord. <laughs> 